Albert viewers, where are we going? We've got the bottom of Albert Road here. Well, it's Thursday night, about half past eight, yeah, and people keep asking us, where's Steve? Yeah, where's Steve? Where's Steve? So we thought we'd go on the hunt for Steve. So we're looking for, you know who Steve is, don't you? Walk by my side. Walk by my side. So we're going to go and hunt for Steve. Let's see if we can find him. So where's the first place we can start? Cookson Street. Of course. Of course. Somewhere like Thai Paradise. You know the names, do you? I just remember it. You just remember it, do you? Okay, then. So we're going to go and hunt for Steve and see if he's frequenting his favourite places. So we're at the bottom of Albert Road at the moment by the old Debenhams. And he's just gone to a red light, so he, obviously we can't move yet. So, which even makes me feel even more like we might find Steve, because we're on red lights already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> right, so we're going to go drive up here, and we're going to go to Cookson Street. So, for all of those who don't understand what Cookson Street is in Blackpool, that's where the, the ladies of the night frequent. Do you like that word? And frequent? Steve. And Steve. I think Steve's their number one client. I'm not casting aspersions on you, Steve, or anything like that. No, yet. no, we wouldn't do that, would we? But we do know that you like Cookson Street. So, we're going to go up here and see if he's there. So, we're down at the top of Albert Road. We're just going, uh, coming up towards the, the Regal. What did that used to be? Not Regal, it's the region. It region. used to be a cinema. It used to be a theatre, cinema. Riley's used to have it at one point. Anyway, here we are. We're on Cookson Street, okay? So, there's only one thing to do, isn't there? Yeah, see if we can find him. Steve! 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 Where are you, Steve? Steve, are you there? Steve! Hello! Steve, Steve where are you? We know you're there, come out Steve! Come out, come out wherever you are! Come on Steve, you know you're riding! We know you're there somewhere! <laughs> no, it, uh, it could be an angel's nest in that one! That one? It doesn't seem to be here! Maybe it's not dark enough yet! It could be, uh, it could be, it could be down Queen Street! <laughs> Should we go and have a look down Queen go Street? Go have a look down Queen Street if you want, it's definitely not to... Uh, no one not would, there. Would ever, unless he's uh, inside filming, of course. Yeah, filming. Yeah, yeah, of course. He wouldn't, he wouldn't be doing anything else. No, 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 no. Yeah. He so he might be there filming. So we're going to go uh, go to Queen Street now. Uh, so I need to go down here, don't I? To, down here. No, I think I'll go this way. Let's go this way. So we're going past Mark Kelly's. Where's that guy going? Into the front of you, by the looks of it. Uh, I can't turn that way, can I? That's no entry, that one. Well, Pete's favourite place with the outside funny girls. And we're just going to go to Queen Street to see if he's round here. Chris's favourite place, the Man Bar. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, many years ago, many, many years ago, did I tell you this story before about how me and my mate used to come to Blackpool before I lived here? In your skirt? No, no. So me and my mate used to come to Blackpool and we used to stay at a hotel uh, along here. Yeah. And it had a rainbow flag outside it. Now, yeah. me and my mate had no idea what this was. Yep. Yeah. And we used to have a room with two twin beds. Do you yeah. believe this, viewers? Yep. Yeah. And... We used to we used to always wonder where the guy's missus was. Now it wasn't until I moved here later on that I worked out we're smacking the middle of the gay area. <laughs> Talk about how naive. So the guy obviously <laughs> thought we were a couple of uh, you know close friends. So the guy was obviously right. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Queen Street now and let's see what's going on. I can't see there being a lot down here, but let's see Steve's out there. I think it's too early for Steve. I think it's he like he likes to come out at night. Yeah, he's a night type of people have always keep coming up to me in the arcade and saying, Have you seen Steve today? I don't genuinely see Steve until we do the letters. So 
so let's see what's going down on here. It's not a lot going on here. Well, that man's got a cowboy hat on. Pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. There's not a lot going on at all, is there? It's dead. No, there's definitely not a lot going on at all down here. I love that. Walk about, feast about, no. sigs about. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely not a lot going on down here. I definitely will not be doing a food review down here, though. I have eaten down here, you know, when you're pissed and you're out with your mates or something the like car that. Car behind you. Dum, 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 dum. Where are we going? So he wasn't there. What about Long Dixon Road? Let's see what's happened to Long Dixon Road. It could be around there. So for those of you, I think he knows this area too well, viewers. I think Chris is a bit of a, I don't know, bit of a closet, bit of a closet guy. Do you think I happen to know this area around here? And this area happens to be? This is quick. This is uh, uh, Springfield Road we're on now, guys. And we're just going to turn left here and go onto Dixon Road. There's a lot of these pop-up uh, pop bars are here now. What's a pop-up bar? I've no idea. It's um, looking a bit... Yeah, the Malibu Hotel, the Hayward Hotel, Dixon Road self storage. Uh, Peekaboos. That sounds like the type of place. That sounds like the type of place Pete would be. That uh, used to be a good pub, that Duke of York. I've never been in there. Not been in there for a long time. Peek, that that Peek sounds the kind of place. Peekaboos. That's obviously an old guest house or something that's been turned into a hotel. Here's another one. Yeah, I see. I get you now. Another public bar there. Yeah, there's lots of there's lots of uh, places. Another public bar. What's going on? It's, uh, all the all the houses have been turned into pubs. Yeah, and I think this is uh, uh, the the, alter the alternative sexuality area. All oh, right. I don't think we can say pufters. So it's the alternative sexuality. So of the. I was watching the news today, yeah, and uh, talking about alternative sexuality. They were talking about this gender identity thing, yeah. Yeah. And these people at college, and they, the colleges have gone, that's silly now. They're allowing people to identify whatever they want. And some guy identified as the moon. Yeah, well... Right. <laughs> this is definitely the centre of the gay area here. Is that a new tattooist? I haven't seen that one before. Jaguar skin tattoos. The Cuban bar. I told you there's a lot of pop-up uh, pop bars out there. I bet that's... Are they called micro bars or something? Cuban bar. The cock in hotel. Leave it out. Leave it out. <laughs> Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Yeah, I don't want to be around here. This is not good. This is not good. Don't you want to drop you off there? We've got you? Pinky's bar there. The cock in bar there. What's going on? Even the fucking chip shop's called the catch. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's the old station there, isn't it? That's uh, Mark Kelly's. That's the old station. Yeah, it used to be the station part. Have you oh. been in there since it's been Mark Kelly's? Oh, I have. Oh, it can get it can get a bit raunchy in there. It, it, I've been in here yeah, a couple of times. I found it hard to get out of. What stuck to the carpet? Yeah, my feet were stuck to the <laughs> yeah. carpet. It can be a bit little bit <laughs> on the uh, the rough side that place. Garlands. Bedtime. Okay, what's going on around here? We're still looking for Steve, remember, that's the whole purpose of coming out here. He's not here, is he? I just can't see him, I can't see him. That big cat sports bar there. I didn't see that. The town hall. The town hall. So we'll go this way. Oh, this taxi driver just oh. caught me up. 
Is he beeping you? He's beeping me. Give him the finger. Yeah, absolutely. Bloody taxi drivers. I think they own the road. Do they not know who we are? So obviously not. Unless he was beeping because he recognised us. Hey, ah, that, he could have done that. He could have done that. Wow, look at that! What? That's not something you see every day. What's that bus? Two banks next to each other. Oh. There's not two banks left in most towns nowadays. I have to use that NatWest bank now because they closed the one that I used before, yeah? And you have to go in there, you have to register at the door for them to give you a time slot to go and pay money in. Yeah. It is bloody uh, ridiculous now. No, that's the reason for that is because they want to take everything online. They want to make it as difficult as possible oh, it, to uh, do your banking. Yeah. So my advice to everybody is cash is king. Stick your money under the bed. Stick them bloody bank accounts right where the sun don't shine. I couldn't believe it. I had to go in there to pay some money. And I said, I normally use the one up by... Uh, uh, up on Lizard Road, but that's shut down now. And this was, oh, it was a complete bloody nightmare. So you have nightmare. to register when you walk in. You have to go in, you tell them who you are, yeah, they put, must pull your account up, you say what you want to do, I want to pay some cash in, yeah. yeah. Well, can't you do it by machine? I don't want to do it by machine, I just want to actually give them cash. And you want, then, yeah, you want to speak to a person. I want to speak to a person, and then you have to wait. Because I must be the only person left in the world who doesn't do online banking, because I don't trust it. They ain't having my money, thieving little socks. If somebody, if I got a couple of hundred quid in my pocket, if somebody mugs me, they probably deserve it, yeah. But I'm not having somebody walking past me and zapping my phone and they're emptying my bank account. Still no Steve. Still no Steve. Many a man's been ruined in there. Oh, the wedding chapel. Yeah. Quite a nice, quite a nice area actually. I've actually been a couple of weddings there. Has anybody been to that diner there? That. Uh, the Vegas Do you know what? Every time I go past that, it's dead. Yeah. Never seen it bugger, in it? I've never been in there, but I have been told it's very expensive. Well, that's why it's dead. Yeah. You can see the, uh, the blades of grass or whatever they're called. They are blowing a, blowing a gale there, so you can see it's very windy out here now. So, we failed. We couldn't find it. We could drive along Central Drive. I think there's a few brass houses on Central Drive. It could be there. I'm not sure about Central Drive. Well, we won't stop, obviously. Oh, look, there's deck chairs. I didn't have deck chairs again. Can't believe Funland's still open. I can't believe that guy who's got that happy days hasn't painted them shutters. Yeah, them yet. shutters need painting. Them shutters are bloody awful. Yeah, they're terrible. He needs to get a grip, whoever that is. Mm. That's another year he's going to wait. <laughs> there you go. The pub, outside pub dancers. Yep. Um. So we're now coming up to Central Drive and we'll see if Steve's along here. I don't think we're going to find him though. Tell you, I think he's tucked up in one of the places uh, doing some filming. He's not one of them, is he? What? You know, it, it, an Arthur and Martha type. You said he was tucked up. He could be. Tucked up. You, oh, I don't think I, so. He, he called Stephanie at night. <laughs> That's might be why you don't see him at night. Is that how he's tucked up? Yeah. Oh, well, surely okay. you meet him in Funny Girl on a Friday. Right. It's starting to get dark out here. <laughs> Have you seen that uh, Tesco on, te on here? <laughs> You've got to ring the bell to You've get in. You've got to ring the bell to get in. <laughs> Belter, isn't it? What happened there? <laughs> I think they're just a couple of lasses uh, messing about, yeah. You have to uh, you have to ring the bell to get into Tesco. The security guard standing there to let you into Tesco on Central Drive. What a place, eh? Oh dear. No, I don't think he's here.